Was Aethan's death necessary? Did Ace need to die for the time kit to happen? Well, today, we're gonna talk about it. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe for more videos, and if you do enjoy it, you should also leave it a like. And tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. After the war of death, Luffy was given an ultimatum by Rayleigh. Either go back to Shambodia Capelago and set sail with his, with his crew, the Straw Hat Pirate, for Fifth Man Island, or and die there in the New World, or stay with him and train for two years as well as the rest of his crew stay where they are at the moment to train and grow stronger so they can be prepared to go to the new world and face the challenges, the challenges that lie ahead. Now, the real question here, was Ace's death necessary for this two year training period to take place? Was Ace's death necessary for the time kit to happen? Well, I don't really think so, and here is why. So, I do believe that if Rayleigh had made that offer to Luffy right when he arrived on Amazon Lily, before, he, before Ace had died, if he made that offer to Luffy before any of those events had taken place, I do believe Luffy would still have accepted it. Now, you have to remember that when Luffy was given this ultimatum, he flashed back to his crew defeat on Shibodi Archipelago. He didn't think about Ace's death, he thought about his crew defeat. Proving that he does clearly understand that he is not ready to face people like Kuma at the moment. He understands he's not strong enough yet. He also understands that no one in his crew can handle it. He also understood even back there on Djibouti that Marine Ford had nothing to do with Luffy's realization that Kuma and people in Kizaru were stronger than him and his crew. Luffy knew on Djibouti Archipelago, he knew if they had fought Kizaru or Kuma, they would have lost. Even if they were at full power, he knew they didn't stand a chance. That is why he gave the order to run away for the first and only time. He was afraid of these guys. He knew they couldn't win. So since he already knew that, I feel like he would understand the importance of the two-year training period to get stronger. So I do believe he would have said yes to Rayleigh's offer. Now, I do not know if he would have said yes, said yes to a two-year training period. I believe he may have gone for like a year or six months. I just don't think he would have wanted to, to be separated from his crew for two years. I feel like Ace's death was a major motivator for that. So I feel like even though he would have accepted the, the training period, I feel like he would have said he would only do it for less than a year or a year and a half. I don't see Luffy agreeing to the two years of separation at this point in the theory. Maybe like six months. That maybe six, seven, a month, something around there, a year at most. I had to be Luffy desperately in Amazon Lily. His only goal was to reunite with his crew. But he also, at the moment, didn't see any way to get stronger. He is being offered, at the moment, a way to get stronger enough to protect his crew in the new world. So it really comes down to the fact that Luffy had already realized, when arriving on Amazon Lily, how outclassed he was against guys like Kizaru. And I do firmly believe if he were given the chance to get stronger by, Ray by Rayleigh, he would have taken it. Because he does not want his crew to get hurt. We already know that. Ace's death had nothing to do with his desire to protect his crew. He always wanted to do that, and that would never change. So do I think he would have taken up on the offer? Yes, but only for about a year. That is the conclusion I have come to in this video. But tell me your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you think that if it had not been for Ace's death, Luffy would have gone straight back to the crew? Or do you think Luffy would have trained for a little bit, either way, no matter what, to get stronger? Well, tell me your thoughts on that in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, subscribe for more videos like this, and above all else, guys, have a great day. This is One Big Nation, signing out. Peace.